Okay, here we are, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and start our next lesson. This one's going to cover polygons. Learning target number one is that you, the learner, will classify regular and irregular polygons. And number two, we're going to construct one-step equations to find the missing angle of a very specific kind of polygon, which is a quadrilateral. Okay, to start things off here, uh, we have the definition of a polygon. Now, a polygon, pretty simple definition, is a closed figure, no opening, it's made up of or composed of line segments and no curves, no arcs of any sort. You cannot classify uh, a circle, technically, as a polygon. So this shape right here would be considered a polygon. It's closed, it's made up of line segments, and this would not be considered a polygon. It has, it's definitely closed, but it's not made up of line segments. Right here, this is definitely made up of line segments, but it's not closed, so you can't technically call it a uh, polygon. This is a polygon, this is not. Right here we have a parallelogram, and that is definitely a polygon. It's made up of line segments, it's closed, there's no curves in it. And right here, kind of an unusual figure, but yeah, that is still a polygon. On this slide right here, I want you guys to make sure you guys write all these down. These are the types of polygons that you need to know. You need to know all these polygons, so make sure you guys write good notes. And let's go through them real quick. A triangle, obviously, three-sided polygon. The next shape right there, you might think that's just a square, and you're right, it's a square. But the most general name for a four-sided figure is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a lot of things. It's a, you know, parallel it's a trapezoid, it's a rhombus, it's a rectangle, it's, it's a lot of things. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon, six-sided is called hexagon, seven is heptagon, eight-sided is octagon, and then the nine and ten are called nonagon and decagon. Decagon is easy to remember because, uh, you know, a decade is considered ten. Decagon would be ten sides. So uh, these eight shapes are ones that you need to know as sixth graders. When you're finished with this lesson, you all understand what a pentagon is or an octagon. You, if I give you a number of sides, you can tell me what the name of the polygon is. Now, polygons can be pretty much classified into a couple groups. We have regular polygon right here, and all these shapes are regular. Now, what makes a regular polygon what it is, is that all sides and all angles are congruent. Usually, that's a one-to-one -one correspondence, which means that if all sides are congruent, you can probably bank on there being all angles congruent, and vice versa. You know, the first triangle right here, that's uh, definitely an equilateral triangle. You know, all those sides are equal. This is a regular quadrilateral would be, of course, a square all the sides are, are equal. This is a regular pentagon. All these sides are equal. And there's a lot of things you can take away from knowing that it's a regular shape. So knowing that all the sides are equal, well, if you know that that side is seven centimeters, well, you can assume that for all the other sides. This is seven, this is seven, this is seven, etc. You can tell everything about the perimeter of that figure, no doubt. Um, same thing can be taken away about the angles, the angle map. So for instance, if, if you're dealing with a hexagon, uh, these angles right here are 120 degrees. Well, every angle is going to be 120 degrees. It's not going to differ. If it wasn't regular, then we couldn't assume that. But since it is regular, every one of those six angles is 120 degrees. Now, if it's an irregular polygon, and some angles and some sides are not congruent. I put on there some because sometimes you have a couple sides that are equal. Sometimes you have most of the sides equal, but but all these pictures here are all examples of irregular polygons. You can notice that uh, sides are varying lengths and angles are different sizes. So obviously none of these are regular. Regular would look more like previous page. Uh, here's some different types of polygon, just in case you wanted to know. I, the question I, I get a lot is, you know, are there names for every kind of polygon? And basically there are. There's 11-sided uh, uh, polygon. is called a hendecagon. It's kind of a funny picture there about a hen, but that's not really where it comes from. It's just somebody drew that. Dodecagon is 12 sides. You've got tridecagon, 13 sides. And I'll just go through this. I mean, as I click through these, though, you'll notice that it, it gets closer and closer to looking like a true circle. Now, a circle technically has no sides, but you can imagine that, uh, you know, the sides can get so small that you wouldn't even be able to tell uh, that it's a side or not. It's just part of the curve of the circle, the arc that makes a circle. So as, as I click through these, you know, tridecagon, tetradecagon, and then we have pentadecagon that has 15 sides, hexadecagon. Now right here you have a picture of a triacontagon or a triacontagon, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, if you didn't know any better, you look at this and go, yeah, it's a circle, but if you look really closely, you'll notice it has really tiny sides there, and there would be 30 of them. If you want to go ahead and count them, go ahead. I'm not going to, but uh, take my word for it, there are 30 sides on that polygon, and then they just keep going. Tetracontagon, and I'll just kind of click through these so you guys can see them. Pentagontagon, and right here, here's a picture of a hectagon, which is a hundred-sided polygon. Definitely looks like a circle. Nobody would be able to tell that that has a hundred sides, but if you look really, really closely, if you zoom in on those sides, you'll notice that those are segments. Very hard to tell 
as you increase the number of sides, very difficult to tell whether it's a circle or just a multi-sided polygon. There's kind of a cool one. Megagon, a million sides. Do not have a picture of that. So I'm, I'm betting that if you just grab a circle, you can call that a megagon because it's, you know, the, the sides are probably so small, it basically just looks like a circle. I, I, I would put a lot of money on that. Now another thing I, I want you guys to be able to do is figure out the missing angle in a quadrilateral. Now before you figure out the missing angle of a quadrilateral, you need to know how many degrees are in a quadrilateral. Unlike a triangle, a triangle has 180 degrees, a quadrilateral has 360 degrees. No matter what kind of quadrilateral we're talking about, it will always have 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set up an equation and put all these terms together. Here's x, and then we're going to add 63, and then 144, and then 9. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set that equation equal to the number of degrees in a quadrilateral, which is 360, not 180. 180 is for a triangle, so equals 360. Second step is just to kind of put together your constants, and uh, those are called your like terms. So then you get x plus 297 equals 360, and then just use inverse operations to solve it. And you get x equals 63 degree. Now that pretty much covers it for this lesson. It was pretty simple. We just kind of talked about the kinds of polygons there are. Everyone have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.